Hey everybody, this is Chad from Stick's Blog. I'm Stick, and today I've got my son Matthew with me. Uh, on the trail, he goes by the name of Twig, and uh, he's also been given the name Mountain Goat. But anyway, today we just kind of wanted to talk. Yesterday I posted a video about backyard camping experiments. Um, for the last two nights I've slept outside because our temperatures have been really cold for us around here. Uh, night before last, temperature dropped down about 15 with wind chill. According to the weather channel, zero degrees, a little bit under. Uh, last night, uh, temperatures dropped down to, according to the weather channel, 12. Uh, this morning, when I woke up, uh, I looked at the uh, the weather channel, of course. According to them, it was 12. I also looked at the thermometer that we have on the porch at the house. Uh, it said 14, and when I got in my truck this morning, it said 15. Now, just to let you know, tonight, or last night, we slept inside this tent, the Kelty Grand Mesa 2. And uh, I have a, uh, let's see, I have this little thermometer. It's just a little cheap old thermometer. According to it, inside the tent this morning, it was 19, 20 degrees, somewhere around there. It's hard to read these little things. But uh, I'm not sure how accurate it is. But, but right there, I got 20 degrees on this, 12 according to Weather Channel, 15 on the thermometer inside my truck. Uh, and then 14 on my porch so that kind of just gives you an idea as far as wind there wasn't a whole lot of wind so uh, that was probably a pretty accurate temperature anyway I just kind of wanted to talk about the gear that we used um, like I say last night when we slept um, of course we both slept in here I closed the fly as well as the door so we were completely enclosed inside here and like I say there wasn't a whole lot of wind moving so pretty much all of the moisture from our breath ended up collecting on the walls inside the tent when we woke up this morning there was a lot of uh, a lot of ice basically from our breath um, so anyway last night I slept on the uh, I used the same configuration both nights I used the Thermarest Neo Air um, I used the Gossamer Gear 1 8 inch thin light pad on top of that and then I used my Marmot Helium and then I went over all the clothes that I wore um, my son used my Exped 7 Sin Mat, and on top of that he used his Thermarest, and he slept in the North Face Tigger Bag, and I also had just a fleece throw that I put on top of that just to kind of help. Um, as far as what he wore, he wore some cotton thermals, and he wore a pair of wool socks. Oh, and he wore just kind of a, a lightweight uh, polyester zip-up on top. Of course, he wore a boggin, and he had a neck gaiter on as well. Um, but anyway, as far as me, uh, I felt I felt all right. What I was, I felt warm, especially when we first got in here last night. Uh, even him, he was sitting up and he was pulling his sleeves up and he was keeping his arms out. Last night when we laid down, it was about 15 degrees according to the uh, thermometers outside. Um, so uh, it was kind of warm when we first got in here last night, and then it, it seems like about. I don't know between the hours of three and four somewhere around there it, it seemed like it really uh the temperatures really started dropping and we kind of got cold i know he got a little cool because i looked over there and his head was completely under the in the sleeping bag um I, I try and make an effort not to put my head in the bag because i don't want the moisture from my breath to get caught up in the insulation especially since my bag is down i don't want my moisture to get caught up in there and uh compromise the uh the the effectiveness of the down um, like I say, the only problem I'm having with that is I'm having to worry about my nose gets cold. It gets real cold. And I don't like putting something right over it, but that's kind of what I had to do last night. But anyway, uh, I feel like the Neo Air, I feel like uh, it, does pretty, it does pretty good. I'm happy. I'm really happy with it. I hate to give it up. That's why I keep using it because I love it. It's, as far as comfort, it's the most comfortable pad I own. Uh, and I, I'm thinking what I might try is I might get a quarter inch. Uh, gossamer gear thin light pad and use on top of that simply because of weight and space constraints i'm trying to keep everything as small as i can i really don't want to get a real big thick pad closed cell phone pad to put with it but anyway i'm happy with it i think it does fine um i think at this point i would be happy to use it in any condition down to 20 degrees um if i was going to go lower than that i would probably want to have something maybe extra a little extra but now another thing too, I would have my, uh, I would have a, a synthetic uh, puffy jacket I could put on. There's a couple other things I could do to kind of supplement. So, but just wearing what I was wearing, 
I feel like I can trust that setup anywhere to 20 degrees. So saying that, i just like to let Matthew tell just a little bit how he felt. So like I say, son, whenever you came out here and you first laid down, how did you feel? Was it cold? Was it warm? Was how, What was you thinking? It was hot. It was hot? Yeah. Uh, now the bags had been laying out here until we got out here for about four hours, so the bags were good and cold when we slid inside them. But just tell us what you tell us how the night went for you. Well, it started off really, really good when I was hot and I had my sleeves up. Then when it got like 11 o'clock, it was freezing cold. Okay. So, uh, so did you feel any cold air coming from underneath you? Did you feel like you was laying on an ice cube or where? Yeah. Did you get cold anywhere throughout the night? Yeah. You didn't get cold? Your face must have got cold because you shoved well, it inside the sleeping bag. My face didn't get cold that much. It just got a bit cold. So how do you think? Do you think that, uh, would you, if if you could, would you sleep outside again tonight in the same conditions? Yeah. Using the same stuff? Uh, I, I could. You could? Well, all right, well, he's been with me on a few trips, and he slept in some cool weather. Uh, we've cowboy camped outside. Uh, temperature's just below freezing, probably mid-20s. But, uh, but anyway, like I said, he was using the Exped Send Mat as well as the uh, Thermarest uh, Z-Lite. So it had a good combined R value, and I feel like it was uh, adequate for him. Uh, but anyway, just kind of wanted to do another little video and uh, just kind of tell you the results of our backyard camping experiments. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, nah. You sure? I'm sure. Alright, well this is uh, Stick and this is Twig. See you later.